Well, today's been the official opening of our new home, if you like, um, and the announcement that um, EPSRC have given us um, a million pounds grant for the education side of the programme. This is the first time we've had a decent building. It's really great. So we've now got space, which is really good, and, um, and, and that makes life a lot easier for everybody. We're um, seven months into a 29-month build programme. It's a very, very big programme. Um, this is equivalent to building a jet fighter. It's an enormous undertaking. Um, I've been responsible for the upper chassis of the car, um, namely anything metallic that's above the orange stripe down the side of the car. The large uh, silver hoop that you see is the start of the upper chassis. Uh, there's 13 of those hoops, of which eight are the same, and then going backwards as the car tapers down there, each, each one is slightly different. Um, I've been working on the gearbox that attaches the um, Formula One the rocket pump to the Formula One engine. This is the lower chassis, and then towards the front, you've got the Cosworth Formula One engine and the gearbox that attaches the rocket pump to the Cosworth engine, and then the uh, monocoque, which is where the driver and the green is actually going to sit. We've got some, some more testing to do down in Newquay. The testing there will actually be with the rocket pump, and then we can see how it'll uh, work under the integration of the rocket pump as well. So as my role as Head of IT, I look after the rollout and commissioning of all of the IT equipment for the team. My other job is project managing what we've got is mission control. Mission control is going to be the heart of our operations. Our operations manager, data management and desert control will all be done from this, um, this trailer. So things like when Andy's ready to run, the operations can, and the controller will talk to Andy direct from this trailer. This is where we will decide if we're good to go. This is where it will all be controlled from. And also this is where all of the data, all of the live video feeds will come back to so that we can then share it with our engineers who are out on the pan, but also we can share our adventure with the, you know, the hundreds of thousands of people and school children um, back, back home in the UK and South Africa. We're encouraging students to actually build replicas similar to what we made and farm down test tracks and showing how different designs work, different axles, different weights, and trying to show what we face with Bloodhound. Trying to get a car right, the configuration right, the power to weight ratios, and all those challenges we've had with Bloodhound, and trying to show them how to build into cars like this. We find this wonderful place called uh, Hackskeen Pan in South Africa. And it's been an enormous program. We've had to remove a road which goes across the middle. We've had to remove 6,000 tons of surface stones. All done, all nice and clean, ready to go.